And now you can do this. <laughs> so this is why we don't have a lot of sugar in our house. Or a lot of cooking shows. <laughs> hey guys, do you like unicorns? Yes! Do you like smoothies made of unicorns? Yeah. Real unicorns? Real unicorns. Like with blood? They have, they have rainbows inside it. Okay, everybody's heard of the Starbucks unicorn, unicorn frappuccino. Guess how many grams of sugar was in that thing? A gazillion. Close. Close. A billion? A million. 77. Six, 77. That's a lot though. We're gonna be making a healthy alternative to the Starbucks unicorn frappuccino. Does it taste like coffee? No, no coffee. No coffee. It's gonna be tangy with the fruit that we're using. Which is one cup of frozen mangoes, a half cup of pineapple, one cup of raspberries, one cup of coconut milk and one tablespoon of honey. Okay, ready? Earplugs. But we can't drink it yet. There's a swirly blue stripe of syrup that has to go. <laughs> that has to go on the inside of the cup and I found a way to make a purple one. Okay. Two teaspoons of blueberry powder and one tablespoon of maple syrup. So you're gonna whisk it together almost like eggs, what you do with eggs. So really, really fast. Oh, oh don't don't eat it yet. It looks like chocolate. It does kind of look it's like chocolate. It does. Just... It has no chocolate. Let me put a, little, a dash. In the Starbucks drink that has a lot of processed sugar. There is sugar in this. Maple syrup is sugar, but it's naturally occurring, and so our bodies kind of handle it better, don't they? I got these cute little sauce thingies at Target. You certainly don't need these. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and cut off the corner like piping, but I just thought this would keep our hands neat. We're gonna pour it in like this. See, and through a funnel, and it goes down. And if you guys come up with a better way to make that blue stripe in the drink, Leave that in the comments and let me know because I am open for suggestions. Okay. Ooh, pink. And a little pink top, okay? So what we need next, and I don't know if you guys are gonna like it. No. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. You don't like whipped cream, right? No, yeah. Let's skip the whipped cream. Yeah, you don't need the whipped cream. I love whipped cream. All right, fine. Okay, whipped cream. Have whipped cream. We're gonna make it. She does okay. like whipped cream. One cup of heavy whipping cream and a quarter cup of maple syrup. That's all there is in it? Yeah, and then you just okay. whip it together. Who wants to help me do that? Me. me. And then you have to like mix it for a couple minutes, right? So ready for a time lapse? I'm gonna start it. We're gonna, uh, I don't know, walk around, maybe dance a little in the background. Yeah. Here we go. I'll do it. Come on, guys, that's supposed to be like a garnish. Come on, come on. Come on. There's more of them. It's just supposed to be a garnish. You got, but that's, oh my lord, in the head. Okay. Yeah. You take our healthy blueberry syrup here, and we're going to, buddy. That's the going, stuff we just made, right? Yeah, and we're going to spin it around the glass. Ooh. Okay. See? And now. We're gonna pour in our smoothie. So then we guard. Oh, oh. Ah. stop it, Drew. Okay. And then you mm. wipe up the mess. That okay. looks really good. It looks really good and it tastes even better, I promise. So on the Starbucks drink, there are a lot of different color sprinkles. Instead of using those sugary sprinkles, we are going to crush up. We're gonna crush up some freeze-dried strawberry slices. See? And yours doesn't have to have it on there, okay? And then you sprinkle it on, look. And it's nice and tart. Now it's time for the taste test. Mine's really horrible. I don't have straws, sorry. Okay, no, you have to eat more than the whipped cream, buddy. My gosh, it's so good. You like it? Really? Hold on. <laughs> Right. So far, the little guy is not a big fruit guy. He's only. I'm not a big strawberry guy. Okay. 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 Can you? It's really good, but he like he's like zero fruit except for apples. Hmm. No. No. We're done. Okay. 
So we actually have a kid, my son doesn't like fruit, so he really liked the whipped cream part. Apples. He likes apples and bananas, so this was gonna be a stretch. What do you think of it? I don't like it. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very tart and tangy, just like the Starbucks drink was de described. If you guys end up making this, share your pictures on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, do hashtag holder mess. Hold her mess because your kitchen will be a mess after this. And tell me what you think. Cheers. So it's healthier, but way messier. That's a great endorsement. Yay!